forces are. And you're going to need to know these for the knees, so you might as well just memorize these. <coughs> Valgus force comes from lateral and goes medial. Uh -oh. Varus force comes from medial and goes lateral. So, Michelle's elbow, if I'm doing a varus force going from medial and going lateral, we're going to get that kind of a bend at the elbow. It's not going to bend that much, but that's kind of what we're trying for. So which ligament do you think we're stressing? Lateral. Lateral, collateral ligament with that. If I do a valgus force, we're stressing the elbow like this. Which, which ligament do you think we're stressing? <laughs> with all valgus and varus stress tests, which really we do them at the elbow, we do them at the knee. You have to do them at zero degrees of or zero degrees of flexion, and then like 30. And in the knee, it's with the knee completely straight, and then about 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. And that's because with the elbow, with full extension, the elbows, the joint capsule is really tight. So we're actually testing medial and lateral joint capsules more than the collateral ligaments. With the elbow flexed a little bit, about 30 degrees, we're testing the ligaments a lot more specifically. So... force. I'm going to hold the elbow like this. I'm going to put my hand right on the joint line and the other hand maybe on the other side. I need to extend the elbow and then bring the elbow in like this. I'm not noticing much movement in the elbow because everything's really tight here. But what I'm going for is this motion. So it's like I'm trying to kind of break the elbow around my contacts. I bend the elbow around my contacts. And that's what you have to go for. You'll see some pictures that show this, one hand above, one hand below, and push that way. That's doing this. That's not doing this. Does that make sense? You need to get that tilting, or you're not, getting, or you're not doing these right. And uh, it's a gigantic pet peeve of mine when, when docs just do the sheer force. Because you're not actually getting the right motion in the joint, and you have no idea what you're testing at that point. Plus the elbow, the knee will shear a bit. The elbow doesn't because of that electron knot and, and the way it wraps around. Um, so what, I'm, what I do is I use my side to block the, the form from coming this way. And then my entire hand bends her elbow in this way. And that's like I'm doing this to the elbow. You're not going to notice any movement, even if you're right here looking at it. There's not a lot of movement that happens in the elbow like that. But we're stressing the medial collateral ligament because I'm bending the elbow out that way. Then with the elbow flexed a little bit, I drop it down, do the same thing. I use both of my hands to, to kind of break her, her arm that way. You want to think about it that way because it really does need to be that kind of a force. And then you hold it. It's not ballistic or anything like that. You hold it there for a couple of seconds. To do the varus force, I'm going to be on the outside of the arm. With my, with my hands right at the joint line again, extend the elbow, and I pull out. So notice what I did there. On the inside of the arm, pulling and pushing in. If I want to do various force on this side, I come in like that. Valgus, pulling and pushing in. Varus, pulling and pushing out. Everybody get that? So I'll do various again on this side so everybody can see what I'm doing. Hands like that. I just did that backwards. So. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Like this. Varus. Pushing out like that. We do it on this side so everybody can see this. Switch arms. Wait, with the varus, you're going out? Yeah, varus. Would you be bracing on the outside and then pulling towards you? Yeah. But I want everybody to see. Oh. So it just doesn't work on either arm. But you can do it like this as long as I'm holding it like this. I can oh, okay. Okay. push out like that. That's fine. Elbow extended, push out like that. Both hands are here, like I'm doing this to the elbow. <coughs> so I'm stressing this side of the joint. With the elbow flex, varus becomes a little bit harder. Michelle's tightening her, her, her shoulder. That helps me. Go ahead and relax your shoulder. But this is what happens with a lot of people. You just push. So you might have to really 
um, get more of the wrist on here, so I can kind of break around my contact a little bit better. Or I could actually just bring the shoulder up like that and pull down like this on the elbow. So with the shoulder like this, that just changes the, the, the force like this. If the elbow is like that, the force is there. If the elbow is like this, the force is here. And then I make a fulcrum and I lever around them. It's a little bit easier for some people. So if it feels like you do valgus and bears at zero degrees, no problem. If you do it at 30 degrees, valgus is probably going to be fine. If Ferris feels like you go forever, you're going to have to modify it just to stop that happening at the shoulder. You can ask the patient to hold your, your arm in and don't let it kind of flare out, but sometimes it doesn't work.